Hey guys, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com. We're going to take a look at the software on the Infuse 4G by Samson. Let's check it out. First off, here we are at the lock screen, and it's, you see it says phone locked. But this is a little different from a previous Galaxy S 4G version, where we said swipe screen to unlock. So we no longer have any cue as to how you're supposed to unlock this. You just have to, you know, play with it and then see that you can do it like this. But this is a little bit different than this one. The Galaxy S 4G, you had to go all the way all the way across before it unlocked. Whereas this one, you really only have to do like about three quarters of the way. So there's that. Now, here's our default home screen. You got seven home screens here. And we can of course do this to see them all. And you can move them around. Uh, same as usual. But this is a new thing. When you get to a blank one, it says press and hold this page to add content. So that's a really nice way for new users to figure out that they can add widgets to this page you know, by pressing and holding. So there's all your choices, widgets, blah blah blah. Now this is a slightly newer version of Samsung's TouchWiz on Android 2.2. Slightly newer than this recent Galaxy S 4G, but not as new as the Galaxy S 2. So I'll show you some other things that are a little bit new. Let's go back here. We got the same little buttons up there. They look a little bit different. So a little new look. And the older version of TouchWiz we had kind of goofy looking tabs up here. Rounded, blue. They changed a bit over here in the newer version so they're more square and uh, less goofy looking. You'll see that in most of the other programs like as well as email. So there's no more tabs up there. So here you can see the old TouchWiz had these weird tabs uh, for, for the different folders. Whereas up here we have just the little pop-up menu. So this is much nicer here. Now by default the application tray is all sorted alphabetically. So you can see those are the programs and they scroll horizontally. You can tap the little circles to go to a different page real quick. But if we do the menu button, there's a view type, so that's your only option there. But if we do that, then we can choose a customizable grid. That doesn't change anything, but guess what? There's another menu item now. Edit. Now they have a little corner here and I can tap and hold and rearrange. You can also tap and hold down here on these little bottom tray icons and move those around. So that's cool. Next up I want to get into what is included on the Infuse 4G for bundled applications. So here's our application tray and we see all share for DLNA compatible stuff, you know, streaming. Uh, we have Angry Birds included. This is a special version of Angry Birds that has more golden eggs and whatnot. And it comes free, this full version, uh, no ads. So that's pretty cool inclusion. We also have your normal AT&T stuff, code scanner, AT&T family map. Uh, we've got AT&T navigator, of course. and we can find things nearby. This uh, comes with a trial version but after that you have to pay ten dollars per month extra. Next up you got your regular calculator calendar stuff, camera, contacts, blah blah blah. It does come with Facebook included so you can update that to a new version. We got the gallery, we got Gmail included. We also have live TV from AT&T. This is a uh, U-verse. It's really Moby TV, but just kind of rebranded for AT&T. 
So we can stream movies. Well, not just movies, TV shows, all sorts of channels down here. Let's try this. I believe this also comes with a trial. Say like the long ball, we're not seeing enough home runs. Speaking of uh, hitting, though, we'll go back to the day where we had one of the greatest streaks in baseball. It began on this day, seven so That's pretty cool. We can swipe through here and see different shows and channels. Pretty much the same as T-Mobile TV, which is also based on Moby TV. Pretty nice. And we also have, of course, the usual Android stuff. This is the Media Hub from Samson. We've seen this before. We get movies that we can buy or rent. It's got to load. And you can get the prices there. You need to set up an account for this, of course. We got the music player. It's kind of nice. Let's check it out. It's a little better looking than some of the other Android uh, music players. And it does screen rotation. And you have your controllers in the uh, Notifications tray. Pretty good there. You got My AT&T, News and Weather Places, uh, Talk, of course, there's Quick Office for opening office documents. There it is in the landscape. Your basic. And there's your video player, voice recorder, voice search, YouTube. There's the yellow pages. So that's a handy app to have that comes with the device. Let's check out the video player. Here's it comes with a lot of these uh, trailers. Let's check this one out. Got pretty good video quality there. Let's see how quickly it uh, seeks to a new point in the timeline. Very smooth video playback. And it looks great on this four and a half inch screen. One thing that's annoying is the back button doesn't work when you're watching a video. You have to press back and then you have to press this button in order to actually go back. So that's kind of annoying. And we also have a task manager. So this will show you how much memory each of these apps are taking up that you've launched recently and hasn't been closed by itself by Android. You also have packages. So this is something that I installed. We can see the RAM that's how much memory you have and how much is being used and there's a uh, storage data it comes on the device by default now one more thing that's interesting is what apps are missing we've got a front facing camera but I didn't see anything to use video chat and there isn't anything included you know, over here we get the quick kick, <laughs> sorry, for video chat calling. But there's nothing, nothing to use video chat here. You just have to go to the market and install your favorite one. Probably want to look at the wallpapers. And we don't have anything special included here. There's only six live wallpapers. Let's look at the beach. Nothing really new or fantastic. As for widgets, 
Nothing ter terribly special here either. We got the program monitor, so that goes straight to the task manager. That's pretty good to have. It'll turn red if you're uh, really using a lot. And I have like a battery warning there. So that's good for people who don't know how to close applications. It's not there by default, so you're you're you'll have to know enough to figure out what that widget does and add it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the Infuse 4G from Samson on AT&T. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. That's it for now.